Clean, but so much was going on, my name was on everything. The police kept coming to grab me. Every time they grabbed me, I had a different story for them. I know 100% facts, and I'm telling you now, I was not truthful. I was saying whatever they wanted me to say. I was saying whatever I could come up with. I was, I was trying my best to convince them that I didn't do nothing, that I'm an innocent person, and that people put their hands on me. When they asked me about any of these things, I, you, you sitting here keep asking me step by step by step by step. And I'm telling you now, because you asked me, was I being truthful? Okay. I know I wasn't being truthful. So is your testimony today that you lied in every interview that you did in 2015? Well, see, see, you, you, the way you're asking that, I don't recall what I was saying in the interviews, but I'm telling you now, when they was questioning me 2015, 14, whenever they was questioning me, I was lying. I was making up stories. So when they were asking me about this right here, I was making it up. When they were asking me about this right here, I was making it up. And when, when they, and they were getting me and they were letting me go, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you. Do you recall telling every detective? Every time they got me, I have told the police, I tell y'all whatever y'all want to hear, just let me go. What? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Oh my God, what we're we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, the funny shit show continues. Man, when the shit hits the funny, <laughs> everybody gets splattered. Man, oh man. Her incompetence is going through and seeping through the whole court system in Fulton County. Fulton County, y'all need to just dismantle and redistrict or something. It's she single handedly tore down the whole justice system all by herself. Now, the one who's going to get, uh, uh, fired soon, I believe is the judge who's overseeing the young thug case. This judge here. Man, oh man, this guy here, yeah, it's over for him. Last weekend, YS, uh, Woody, this guy here, he was supposed to testify on the stand and he gets on the stand and he pleads the fifth. If you don't testify, the state's probably going to ask me to jail you and I'm probably going to do that. So I like you to go ahead out and talk with your lawyer and tell me what you want to do at that point in time. Okay. Do you need any more time to talk, Mr. Copeland? Okay. What is your desire at this time? I'm taking the fifth. Okay, you're taking the fifth, but you've got immunity, but you still want to... Are you going to testify? That's the thing. That's the question. That's the question on the floor. I've acknowledged the fact you have a Fifth Amendment privilege, but the state's given you immunity, so that overrides that Fifth Amendment privilege. They require you to testify. Yeah, but the state don't know what they're talking about. So they asked me a question... They, they implicate me, then... Okay, they can't prosecute you on that. Right. Judge says, man, you don't have to plead the fifth. You already have immunity. Why is Woody said, nah, I'm going to plead the fifth. So the judge kept pressing him. Nah, tell us what's going on. Tell us the truth. And he stood firm and says, nah, I'm going to plead the fifth. So the judge says, you know what? I'm going to put you in jail over the weekend. And maybe you'll cool off and think about it on Monday. Uh, Mr. Copeland, given the fact that you have invoked your Fifth Amendment privilege, but the state has already given you immunity under 24-5-507, this court holds you in willful contempt, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. And we'll see, we'll see if we uh, can get some more testimony at that point in time. Take him into custody. So Monday come around, the judge, the prosecutor, and Wyatt Woody was in his chambers cooking something up. It was told, based upon information belief, that, mis that it was told to 
the district attorneys that Mr. Copeland intended to plead the Fifth Amendment. Then I was told, based upon information and belief, that Adrian Love, the lawyer for Mr. Copeland and this court, um, were together and Ms. Love made representations that John Melnick supposedly spoke with some attorneys for the accused and wrote an email to Ms. Love, to Adrian Love, um, stating that Ms. Melnick does not represent the witness and that Mr. Melnick wrote an email saying F you and then somehow that email was CC'd to me that never- Mr. Mr. Steele, can I interrupt you for just a second? I'm kind of disturbed because that's ex parte. This All that was an ex parte conversation. How did you find out about any of that? Well, as Woody said, if he gets on the stand, he's going to admit to killing old boy. And you can't put this on, 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 on Thugger. The prosecutor says, you do that, we're going to try you for perjury. But if you lie and say he did it, then we're not press charges on you. And the judge is sitting right there listening to this whole cooked up story. All right. Now, the um, the defense, Mr. Steele here, he caught wind of it and he brought the attention to the court. State of Georgia. How about the witness? How about Mr. Copeland, who supposedly announced he's not testifying and he'll sit for two years and then supposedly no, that's this honorable court. OK. Or excuse me, let me rephrase that. This court supposedly said I can hold you until the end of this trial. Ms. Hilton supposedly said actually all of the defendants and then all 26 people are disposed of. If that's true, what this is, is coercion, witness intimidation, ex parte communications that we have a constitutional right to be present for. So I understand that you're upset towards me, but Ms. I don't know what I did. Mr. Steele, I still want to know, know how did you come upon this information? Who told you? What I want to know is why wasn't I there? Why, sir, I'm going to hold you in contempt if you don't tell me who this. I'm not, I tell, me, tell me who this information don't was coming from. Don't want to be held in contempt. Well, I'm then, not answering that question. That's attorney-client privilege information. I am not answering. Attorney-client privilege. Unless you were in my chambers, that's I'm, the only way you can figure out. I am. Telling I tell you, you what. I'm going to give you five minutes. If you don't tell me don't who have you, to, I'm if you don't tell me who it is, I'm going to put you. In, I'm, me, I'm, I'm going to put you in contempt I because. Understand. That is not attorney client privilege. Attorney work product privilege. I am not. How did you, you. how did you get that information supposedly from my chambers? Did somebody tell you? I'm not. You should have told me. <laughs> so Mr. Steele, standing on business, says, no, nah, I'm not going to tell you who told me this. I'm not snitching. I'm not snitching. And off to jail he goes. Take Mr. Take Mr. Steele in the custody, please. Yes, sir, you certainly may. Mr. Williams does not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me against um, his will, my will. You're taking away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present, and I can't learn about it by watching online. So for that reason, additionally, I asked for a mistrial. And I assume you denied, but I'd like you to deny our motions for mistrial. You denied the other people. I've, I've, I've denied your motion, but I'll certainly take that under advisement, sir. Now, the prosecutor who was cooking this whole scheme up, she asked the court to be relieved. And Woody famously said, you're fired. Mr. Copeland's uh, counsel, Ms. Bumpus, would like to be released. Is that correct, madam? Yes. Okay. All right. Sir, um, Mr. Copeland, um, is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She's fired. She's fired? Okay. So do you wish to represent yourself in, in, in these particular, in terms of any issues you may have in this particular? Do I got a choice? I'm sorry? Do I got a choice? Yes, you do. And what are those? Well, you can keep your lawyer that you have right I now. I don't want her. All right. You could, um, you could certainly hire, hire another lawyer or the court could appoint your lawyer. Right. Cause she already know that she messed up. So she didn't want to be held in contempt. So she tried to distance herself from the case. But 
it didn't go as, as she's playing because the judge felt a little slighted. The judge started to put two to two together and said, you're the one who snitched on me. And now he's going to put her in jail. I'm excused. Not quite yet. Madam, uh, as a result, um, I'm going to also have you appear on the 25th of June. I have, um, call, I have filed an order to show cause and, um, I'm going to give you a copy of it. You can read it, acknowledge it, just that you received a copy of it and we'll see you on the 25th of, um, of June at 9.30. Man, witness tampering by the judge? Who, lordy, lordy, lordy. Free my nigga thugger. Now, you know what I said in the earlier of the year when this first started. I believe that he's guilty, but I also believe that Fonnie Willis is going to fumble this. But now that we see a whole mess, we see the uh, the incompetence of Fonnie Willis. Now it seeps through the judge and the rest of the prosecutors. Oh, DA Love, District Attorney Adrian Love. Oh, she's a mess too. I'm going to exclude that those two sections. Your Honor, Mr. Um, Atkins, he confronted this witness with those sections. I last week let them know that we were introducing that. It's, if the exhibit's not ready and you have made and you uh, no, well, he, Mr. Sharp's got objections to it. But Judge, Mr. Sharp can get in and have our evidence excluded every day that he makes an objection no. at midnight. And then comes in and says, Well, then you all should, then you all should have gotten your stuff together no, before then. Some of our juries, please. No, Some of our juries. Have a seat, madam. Have a seat. You better exclude that. And next time, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're prepared next time. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just not. Judge, we are starting right now. It's 120. Judge, so we have talked to them. We have said we don't agree. Then file them. a motion and get it before me, and and we'll and we'll take it up. What both of you, both there? both of you all, it both is. of you all have equally responsibility to do that. The information they are seeking. Oh, it's going to be an admissible right now. I'm saying, Judge, that we, you said to file a motion. There's nothing. Here I am not going. Right? I am not going to have any. I'm not going to have any more discussion about this, madam. I'm not. I don't. Well, you know what? And I attempted to try to talk to them earlier this week. Well, then and that's. Yeah, well, that's why we have to. Punishes the state because the defense. I'm not punishing anybody, but you know, pr but prior preparation prevents poor performance. Be prepared, Judge. That's why I sent them what I sent them last week, a whole week and a half ago, two weeks. Your I'm not. Well, and I have asked. I have said I would like to discuss. Our jury's you. coming in, madam. Our jury's coming in. Have a seat. Now that we see this all on live TV, on HD, there's no way that Thugger is going to jail. It's going to get mistried and it's going to be just dismissed because again, they messed this whole thing up. Now we already see this is a hot mess here. Fulton County needs to be dissolved. The whole court system needs to be dissolved. The whole county needs to be redistricted. Just take it off the map. We, we already have like what, 192, 993 counties in Georgia. We could do it one less. All right. Take it off the map and redistrict it. Put Cobb in, put the cab in and put some parts of Fayetteville in something. But Fulton County by itself? Nah, nah, it's done. Anyway, if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you district attorneys, get your ass off my lawn.